Hey, it's Ingress here. Thanks, Kitty. Uh, hope everyone's enjoying the show today. I'm taking a quick look through Bleed on Xbox One. This game was originally released on the Xbox 360 as the XBLIG, just our indie games program. It was received very well, uh, soon ported over to Steam, and now it's coming back to Xbox as an indie game. Um, idea at Xbox game so Xbox one game called bleed it is a uh, challenging platformer game you know uh, if you guys know me you know I love platform games so and I had I missed it uh, from the Xbox 360 days so I was looking very forward very much forward to this game and I'm very happy to show this one to you guys I get the chance from the developers to get an early look and uh, show it off in our uh, uh, to your anniversary special show here so just to get stuff out of the way the game is releasing on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox one on August 22nd and 24th respectively the price is gonna be 999 US dollars or 99 euros uh, depending on where you are and if you pre-order now for Xbox one there is a 20% discount so you might want to if you like what you're seeing, you got about you got about a week and a half to pre-order and get that discount. Okay, so and it currently has a 93% positive rating on Steam with like 1,200 reviews. So that's really you know amazing number of reviews and uh, and very very positive rating. And Games Radar has hailed it as one of the best Xbox Live indie games of all time. So Rin is a girl. That's the main character that you're seeing. And you know, uh, I'm not gonna read through this description. This, you, want, you, want, I know you want to get to the game. So the options: you know, language, English, French. Bunch of languages there. You can uh, adjust the volumes, extra challenging mode is for. Uh, playing through uh, like boss fights, you unlock bosses as you go through the story. And basically, the main character, what you, what she does is she selects, she takes the uh, list of bosses or bad guys and takes them out. Very simple story. I mean, she's a true hero. Right, so you can buy stuff in the shop. There's four difficulty: easy, normal, hard, and very hard. I decided to go with normal. This is my, as I said, I missed it in the 360 and on the Steam. So it's my first time playing. And so we're gonna be taking out Guppy. So first place, first level, at least the first part of the first level, kind of plays like a tutorial. Use the right stick to shoot. Use R two to jump. And change weapons you, you bring two weapons and, and if you buy more you can switch them out to other weapons but, um, I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't figured out how to do that at, le uh, at least for win maybe it have you can do it after you beat the game once or something or you get the ability later in the game I played through the uh, two levels of this game I, I don't know how to do it yet so you get bullet time and, and I died don't die like that a stupid death yeah. I'm gonna die a lot in this game it's gonna happen so I, this is first level and this was pretty hard and while I'm not like the greatest platformer game of all time I'm not bad either so Definitely quite challenging, but I found it really fun. And I, at, at no point in this game that I played through the first two levels like that. This is impossible. I'm gonna just quit. You get triple jump too, so that's quite interesting. And it's easy to control the game. Uh, I mean, I thought maybe you can get over there and there's a secret. There isn't. So, yeah. very simple mechanism, jump, uh, double jump, triple jump, shoot with the right stick, change weapons, and uh, you know, slow down time with the LT button, and it works, 
you can, and you can do a lot of things very, very nicely with ease. There's life on the left side, top left, and you know, timer on the top left also. Time is the amount of blood time. You can upgrade those abilities a little bit. And how fast they charge. You know, normally you can take a few hits, no problem. I I try it easy in other modes, um, you can just take less hits. For this, you can't kill the chopper as far as I could tell. Maybe there is a way. I tried shooting a little bit, but it kept, kept saying go, so I figured we gotta run away for now and then kill him later. I'm almost at the top here. I thought there was a way there. There isn't. Alright, so here. It's not a tough fight. I just don't have very much energy so I die soon and I don't know his patterns just yet so All right. still like I said I had no point in this game I thought it was a very unfair fight or anything uh, using the rocket launchers I thought was maybe a good idea but it turns out it's not you, you're shooting a lot faster with the pistols and on the, on the top right you can see the ranking, if you kill the boss without getting hit and do it fast, you'll get that ranking up, up to all the way up to S. Yeah, I'm having trouble dodging, but I'm gonna kill him soon. Got him. Alright, so I got D rank, whatever. Oops. I think you do have to fall into this, you get an achievement for that, but the door didn't open until I fell into it, so... I can do wall jumps. Strangely enough, you could turn wall jumps off in the options, I don't know what that means, to be honest. Okay. In most games of this kind that I played, if wall jump is a mechanism available, you have to use it to, you know, beat the game. So turning it off, does it give you more challenge? What does it do? I'm not sure. I have no idea how to dodge that attack because he gets angry. He kind of tracks you and I don't see a way to dodge it. So if you know how, let me know. Uh, there's gotta be people watching this who's played this already on 360 or Steam and thinking, oh my god, this Sangrius guy sucks. So. <laughs> nah, I'm not trying to be sucks on this video. I'm trying my best. Pretty well here. I die. I almost killed him. I didn't edit these out because, you know, I figure I want to show you how difficult or not difficult the game is. What kind of mistakes I made and how we can do better. This is by no means walkthrough video or anything. I got 10 minutes of first play with, without any edits. A nice way to show you show off how this game plays and without spoiling anything. I didn't want to show you like the final level of the game and even before the game is available on Xbox One I mean, when, the vi when our video launches it'll still be like a week and a half before you, you guys can play the game so. You can check out the official trailer, it, has, it shows a lot you know, harder uh, gameplay parts and believe me, I looked at the video and <laughs> it does look difficult. But still looks very, very fun. I still want to play. I think that is a sign of well made platformer like like this, uh, for example, Super Meat Boy, Ori and the Blind Forest. That kind of caliber, um, no. It's challenging, but not too challenging, and you want to keep trying. And I, I have the same vibe at this game, so. Alright, so I'm gonna check out the shop and uh, I do buy the shotgun weapon because that's all the money I had left. 
And that's where I'm gonna end this because I showed you one level, one full level in the shop. So I hope you like what you saw and uh, support the devs if you did. Uh, all right, and that's it. You can pre-order it right now. It launches August 24th on Xbox One. Back to you, Kitty.